Okay, so my name is Talia. I did my Harlem Renaissance project on Gwendolyn B. Bennett. Some life facts about her. She was born in Giddings, Texas in 1902. She was a teacher, artist, and writer. She graduated from Pratt Institute in 1924 and then was an art instructor at Howard University. She continued her education in Paris, France, and then she was really involved in the African-American arts community for over 20 years. Art was something that was super important to her and she empowered um, young individuals to also be into it. So some extra information about her art and poetry was that she published her first poem, The Heritage, in her college years, which is one of the poems I'm actually gonna be talking about today. She wrote nonfiction pieces about the Harlem Renaissance and the culture surrounding it. She thought that African-American culture was really important, something that needed to be preached about and needed to be written and just needed more of. Um, due to her writing about the Harlem Renaissance culture and African values and racial pride, she became a key figure in it, um, which is why I'm actually talking about her. So go her, <laughs> art meant a lot to her. As I said before, she enjoyed studying it, participating, and really encouraged others to get involved with it. She put a writing group together with some prominent authors during this time period as well, like Links and Hughes, Wallace Thurman, and Alta Douglas. There was a lot more, but this is just a few of them. And her mission was to create a warm, supportive space for young writers to express themselves and carry on African-American culture, values, and racial pride. So this is a list of her work, ranges from 1922 to 1927. This is mainly poems. It doesn't include any books she wrote about, um, about the Harlem Renaissance. And then this is that poem I was telling you about that I'm going to be reading. Heritage. I want to see the slim palm trees pulling at the clouds with little pointed fingers. I want to see life, Negro girls, etched dark against the sky while sunset lingers. I want to hear the chanting around a heap and fire of a strange black race. I want to breathe the lotus flower, sighing to the stars with tendrils drinking up the Nile. I want to feel the surgeon of my sad people's soul hidden by a minstrel smile. Really liked it. Um, so this is my little paragraph kind of explaining it, the significance. I said this poem is Gwendolyn talking about wanting to be connected to her roots. While researching her life story, something that continued to come up was that she wanted to inspire and foster a love of creative outlets. She was very into art and found it important to show racial pride, African-American culture, and African values. After reading this poem a few times, it is super evident that this is what she's trying to get her readers to understand. Um, going back to the poem, I think her talking about shackled slaves and, oh, I don't know what's going on. Okay, sorry, I don't, I was not on that side. Um, so I think her talking about the black race and wanting to see Negro girls looking up at the sky and not wanting to be by the Nile, I think that's all very evident that she just wants to be connected to her roots. I really like this poem though, that it was really, that it was a good one. And it shows that she, was like this even when she was in college, that this was something that was super important to her. And then the next poem I chose was To a Dark Girl. Um, I love you for your brownness and the rounded darkness of your breast. I love you for the breaking sadness in your voice and shadows where your wayward eyelids rest. Something of old forgotten queens lurks in the light, abandoned of your walk, and something of the shackled slave sobs in the rhythm of your talk. Oh, little brown girl born for sorrow's mate, keep all you have of queenliness, forgetting that you once were slick and let your full lips laugh at fate. I thought this one's really cute too. Um, for my paragraph, this is what I wrote. Gwendolyn's poem, To the Dark Girl, is about being comfortable and feeling confident being a dark girl. The poem is intended to empower dark girls. It's shown in the poem when she talks about laughing at the past, for being where you currently are and breaking through the barriers. She writes how she loves their brownness and how this scene is beautiful to her. My favorite thing about the poem is how she starts off saying she loves you and then ends off saying that the intended audience needs to continue being a queen and continue laughing. I find this poem sweet and if I were the intended audience, I would feel empowered and appreciated. So going back to the poem, 
don't know how to use slides apparently. Um, I just think it's really evident. She talks about the brownness, how she loves the brownness, um, how she loves, they, she, like, she loves them for their sadness. Um, I just think that this, this poem is really important. Um, it just really shows like where they were at the time period. And then to end my slideshow, this is the sources I use. Um, I really found it interesting to research her. She was really, she was really cool. She did a lot. It was really cool to see that she empowered some of the other like prominent figures during this time period. And yeah.